So being that I've been a professional skier for 20 plus years, I believe one of the reasons why I'm still so passionate about it is being able to maintain uh, a balance in my life. And for me, that's actually taking time off snow during the summer so that when it comes back to fall and early winter, I feel like I've got the same passion and stoke as when I was 14 years old. So during the summer, I like to play in the water as much as possible, bike as often as possible, and just totally turn my brain off from skiing. So when it comes back to the fall and I see that snow line creeping down the mountains again, then all of a sudden... So to take care of my body, I like to lifting weights, biking, hiking, balancing that out with some yoga so my body's not getting too tight. And then I find meditation is super good as well because it helps ground me to be able to focus on what I'm trying to ski at that moment. Visualizing what I'm gonna ski, taking some deep breaths, and really just kind of slowing down my heart rate. And I let my body more or less take over. One of the biggest challenges is assessing risk. Um, it's never easy because things can go wrong in the backcountry. One of the things that I'm super passionate about is off-grid living. And for me, it's just really trying to understand whether I can do it. <laughs> what does it take to be able to have a smaller dwelling produce enough power where you can sustain yourself there? And then I think that just kind of transcends into come in tune with, with your environment. And so I think throughout the 20 plus years of me becoming a professional skier, I've had a lot of humbling moments that realize how simple life can be. And I think that's a really important process to go through. My name is Mark Abma, and I ski for Outdoor Research. <laughs>